In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a grunge brush. Um, I'm going to show you how I made one of the brushes that um, are in this pack of brushes that I made. And I will leave a link in the description to where you can download these grunge brushes off of. So to start out, just open up a new image and make it 400 by 400. Or you can make it a different size if you want. Now, over on our layers dialog, um, we're going. I'm going to create four new layers by just pressing this uh, page icon. Now on the first new layer down here, this one, go to filters, render, clouds, plasma. Now I'm going to turn the turbulence up a little to about 3.5. Now just select randomize, then check OK. Now go to colors, desaturate, just leave the default one and then click OK. Now on the second new layer, this one, go to filters, render, clouds, plasma. Um, just do the same thing you just did. Then select OK and then go to colors, desaturate, and desaturate the colors again. Now go to filters, artistic classify now just keep the default settings now go to the third new layer and go to filters render clouds solid noise now just check randomize and detail you can turn that up to 15 and for X size I'm gonna turn that up to 16 and for Y size I'm gonna turn that down to about 2.3 now go to the fourth layer, the very top one, and go to filters, render, clouds, solid noise again. Now this time all we will be doing is um, keep randomize uh, checked and keep detail as 15. Now we're just going to reverse these settings so that the X size is 2.3 and the Y size is 16. So we're just flipping it. Now what we're going to do is adjust all the layer modes or almost all of them so on this layer the top one set that onto divide on the new layer the the third new layer or the second layer in your layers dialog um, set that onto multiply and on the second or on the layer where you did the uh, classify effect, set this onto grain merge. Now just hide your background layer and press control M. That doesn't seem to be working. Um, if that doesn't work, if just go to image merge visible layers and just merge. Um, now make your background visible again and go onto your layer where all the content is really get I'm gonna use my free select tool and just draw like a blob really now go to select invert and then select feather I'm gonna feather this selection by about 95 now get your eraser tool and just get a fairly large brush and then just erase and you have the surrounding stuff. And then select none. Now to um I'm just going to edit this a little. Once you're satisfied with what you have, go to image, flatten image, then go to image, auto crop image. Then go to image mode and then check grayscale right here. Now you're ready to save it as a brush. So go to file, save as. Grunge 8. Now, important thing is you need to save it as a .gbr file. Then go ahead and save it. 
and this will pop up and just leave the default spacing which is 10 and description is what um, the name of it is and this is the name you'll see in GIMP so then you can just refresh your brushes and then And there you go, you have your new grunge brush. So have fun making brushes, and um, you can customize this a lot if you just play around with the settings and everything. You can create several pretty cool brushes by doing pretty much the same thing. So I hope this tutorial helps and you learn something.